Hi and welcome to the Spider Wellbeing with Yoga. I'm Ali and today I'm going to take you through a short guided visualization style meditation to help harness the energy of the new moon and the manifesting powers of the new moon. The new moon symbolizes new beginnings and it's a wonderful time to start planting the seeds of intention for any desires or goals that you might have. This meditation is best practiced the days around the new moon so that we can harness the energy of the new moon and its manifesting potential. I'll be guiding you through this short meditation by first calming your mind so that we can create some space for our visualization. Now you can do this meditation either seated, sitting up against a wall or even lying down on your back. There's no right or wrong, just make sure that you are going to be comfortable to stay there for around 10 minutes. So this practice is a wonderful practice to take daily around the new moon. You could start with the week before the new moon, up to the week after the new moon. However, even if you just do it as a once a month little ritual, it is a wonderful way to really tap into what your deepest intentions and desires are. Before we get started, I'd really love for you to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that I can continue to create content for you. It really does help my channel grow. If you do have further resources, I've popped a link in the description below to my Patreon page, which you can further support me for as little as $5 a month. However, this channel will always be free to subscribe to and I really do appreciate each and every one of you. So without further ado, let's get into this beautiful little meditation. Make a mudra with your hands by placing the thumb and index finger together, leaving the remaining three fingers long, and then just resting the back of the hands upon your legs. You can also make the same mudra while lying down on your back. Just allow the back of the hands to rest on the earth beside you. And then start to bring your awareness, your attention to your breath. Noticing the inhale and the corresponding rise of the chest. The exhale as it leaves you, the fall of the chest. Begin to draw the breath in a little longer, maybe over the count of three or four. And as you exhale, draw the breath out even longer, perhaps over the count of four or five. Take this slightly longer exhalation breath for a few more rounds. And as you do, feeling the internal environment light up as the external environment starts to dim down. If you find that your mind starts to wander, lovingly and patiently bring your attention back to the breath. Feel your heart rate start to slow down. Feel your body begin to relax.
stay focused on the breath. Still the mind. The new moon is a time to plant seeds that you wish to see grow or manifest. So take a moment to consider something you would like to cultivate. It could be a thing, an experience, or even a feeling. It could also be an attitude or a belief. Take a moment to visualize what that thing would feel like when your seed fully blooms and feel the effects on the body as you visualize your seed in full bloom. Let those emotions and feelings all encompass you. Holding on to that feeling, let's now plant that seed. Imagine you're standing in a garden. Before we plant our seed, we're going to prepare the soil. As you're preparing the soil, clear out all the things, beliefs, people, energies and attitude that don't support your intention or manifestation. Keep weeding that garden, clearing the soil. So that it is a clean slate to add the fertilizer. When you feel like you've finished, take a step back and visualize the clean, clear soil where you're about to plant your seed. And take your seed and start to dig the hole. Plant the seed. Lovingly cover it up with some soil and then start to fertilize your seed, fertilize your garden. In order to do this, you can fertilize it with any beliefs, energies, attitudes, people and experiences that may enhance the full blossoming of your manifestation. What things would really assist your seed to fully bloom to its fullest potential? 
and fertilize your garden with all of this positivity. Take a moment to water your garden. Having full faith and confidence in the preparation that you have given the seed to reach its fullest potential. Make a promise to yourself now to nurture that seed. You must show the universe that you are worthy of this manifestation by taking care of it. Eliminating any self-judgment or criticism in cultivating a sense of faith and belief in yourself and your abilities, as well as complete worthiness of your manifestation. Make a commitment to yourself to continually nurture your seed, your future manifestation with positivity, continuing to fertilize it regularly with all the goodness that you've put into the earth just now. And feel excited for your manifestation when it finally blossoms. Now let's quietly leave the garden, allowing the seed Bask in the sunshine and we make our way back into our lives. Start to take a little deeper inhalation, feeling the breath invigorate the body with fresh vitality. When you feel ready, you can open your eyes. And then let's take a big inhale in together, arms come overhead as you exhale, bringing your hands heart center in this little lotus mudra. Drop the energy of the seed of your intention into the palms, close over the fingers and take this mudra to the third eye so you can continuously see your future manifestation. Then take this mudra to your lips, promising to only speak words that support your manifestation. And then to your heart center, pure knowing and belief that your manifestation will blossom. Namaste. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you again soon.